G'day all, here we have an Ocmo Microcosm Harley Davidson. It's a Panhead V twin engine. This one is called the Model R30. It's 1.5 scale. The engine is 120 millimeters long, 90 millimeters wide, and 110 millimeters high. The engine itself weighs 1.1 kilos. The displacement of the engine is 4.2 mils. The cylinder diameter is 13 mils and the stroke is 16 millimeters. It's an absolutely gorgeous detailed engine. Absolutely beautiful. Here's some close up photos of the engine. Like all the engines from Ocmo Microcosm, this one is the same. This one runs on three AA batteries. It has a Hall effect sensor, and it's the Hall effect sensor that sends the spark off to the um, two cylinders for the timing. And uh, it's a system that works really well for these engines. It's a, uh, it's just really nice. It's just, just. I, every time I look at it, I can't stop thinking of the detail that's gone into making these. But uh, how about we go out and fire it and uh, see if we can get it going, see what it sounds like, and see how it runs. That sounds pretty good to me. So I'll turn this off, and uh, next thing we'll be trying to start this. Okay, out in the shed to give this a run. Uh, now... In America, you call you guys call petrol gas. Uh, in the UK and uh, Australia, we call it petrol. And uh, I can't stand the smell of unleaded petrol on my hands or on my clothes. So I I have run these engines, or well not this one, the hit and miss engines from Ocmo and Gin uh, Microcosm. I have run them on petrol. But as I said, I really just can't stand the smell of unleaded petrol. Now, I've run them on Zippo, and uh, that gets expensive after a while. It smells nice, really nice to use. It smells good. But what I have been using, and is easily available, is Shellite. Uh, this is from hardware stores in Australia. It's uh, Nap Napta. It's N-A-P-T-H-A. Uh, not that I think I'm uh, pronouncing that's right, right, but uh, it's in the US. You call it white gas, and uh, this is great. Smells good, easy to use, and uh, don't mind getting used to my fingers. And I mix the shellite with. Uh, I used to use uh, good quality uh, two-stroke outboard oil, but uh, everyone in the US kept on talking about. Um, Marvel's mystery mystery oil, and I finally located some in Australia, so I've been uh, mixing that up very uh, happily with, should I say, I've been pretty happy with uh, mixing that to twenty five to one, and uh, it's been working really well. So let's put some in the fuel tank of this little Harley Davidson engine. Fill it up. And that should gravity feed along the fuel line to the carburetor. Should be getting close. There we are, just over fill it a little tiny bit. Okay. 
Now I didn't see that run along all the way. So what I can do is I just pull that off and just let that run out. Yep, that's running out. Put that back on and that should be ready to go. Okay, now all my videos come warts and all, so guess what I've forgotten to do? I've forgotten to put batteries in it, so I'm going to stop the video and go get some batteries. Okay, back with three batteries. As I said before, I do like to do my videos with mispronunciations, fluff ups, stuff ups, whatever I do wrong, unless it's a complete and utter balls up, which, yeah, I've been known to do that. I do like to do my videos just warts and all. I've got my finger over the petrol tank, so it shouldn't have leaked any fuel. Put the breather cap back on, the petrol tank. Everything about this engine is just, it's just quality, it's just really, it's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we'll put that switch on, on. Okay, Jim, so we've got petrol. The carby is on. I made this uh, rope puller the other day for this engine. Now you can start these, they, they come with a tool that you put in a fast drill and you can start them up. But uh, I don't, it's not something I like to use. I like to either hand start them when they're warm or rope start them. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it starts. Let's go. Then let's see if we can hand start it. Stall it again. Gee whiz, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds absolutely fantastic. I've cut myself on something, there's a little bit of blood there. Well, am I happy with the sound of that? I hope that sounds as good on the camera as what it does to me in person. That started really easy. First go on the rope, and then warmed up, it was able to start really easy by flicking it that's what i've done i've cut myself on that sharp bit of the the rope starter there all right we'll turn that back on and let's see if it starts again see how warm those cylinder heads are no nope. there's no little bit of warmth coming through all right let's see if i can get it going turn it on get that compression around no nope. I'm bleeding like a stuck pig here. Really did a number on myself. 
Okay, we'll get it going once more. On, Carby set. Okay, that sounds great. I'm very, very, very happy with that. Wow, that's... So, muck around with the idle. I reckon I could get that... I reckon I could get that idling so much, so much lower. So much quieter and just ticking over. Runs great on the shellite. Absolutely over the moon with that. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. And, uh... This little Harley Davidson panhead from Ocno Microcosm out of Gin's Workshop is absolutely, I know I've said absolutely probably 20 times now, but I am stoked with this little panhead Harley Davidson model engine. Okay, as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.